Brain rule number eight, stress. It isn't good for us. We've all seen this guy. <laughs> Let me tell you the secret to management, all right? Modern business is tantamount to nuclear warfare. You know, it's kill or be killed. If you don't strike first, you're not going to have the chance to strike second. You know, and employees need to know this. They need to know who's in charge. And as their boss, well, it's my job to uh, arm them with a killer instinct. You know, to, uh, otherwise, they won't have a chance to survive. <laughs> yeah, watch, watch. Brian! <laughs> Brian, I don't even know why you're still here. You have no aptitude for this job. You couldn't pour sand out of your shoes if the instructions were written on the heel. And you dress like a garden gnome. Oh. Do you think you could manage to get me a cup of coffee? <laughs> it works. I mean, you know, keeps them productive, keeps them on their toes. Right? And it better be hot. No. <laughs> works every time. I love it. Garden gnome. Okay, so this example is a little extreme. But tell me, did stress help Brian's productivity? Not this kind, the kind that's sometimes called learned helplessness. It's the type of stress that occurs when you have a bad boss who controls his or her subordinates. It also occurs when a great deal is expected of you and you have no control over whether you will perform well. The employees work for fear of losing their jobs or not meeting expectations. Such stress damages virtually every kind of cognition you can measure, from memory formation to executive function. Creativity suffers. So does motivation. So does productivity. It can even disrupt your immune system, which means you get sicker more often and increase health care costs. It can destroy your ability to get a good night's sleep. It increases your risk for depression. Under such conditions, you can actually watch parts of the brain atrophy. There's a reason why all this bad stuff happens. The brain was never designed to handle long-term stress. Our stress responses were built to solve problems that lasted about 30 seconds. The saber-toothed tiger ate you or you ran away, but it's all over in less than a minute. If you have had a bad boss, the saber-toothed tiger can be at your door for years and you begin to deregulate. If you are in a bad marriage, the saber-toothed tiger can be in your bed for years and you begin to deregulate. Clearly, stressed brains don't learn the same way as non-stressed brains.